now. Hello and welcome to my Facebook page and welcome to the special broadcast. My name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to show you the brand new Lightroom for Apple TV app that just came out, just made, just been made available today on the App Store. So I wanted to give you guys a first look at it, and I got it all set up this morning on one of my Apple TVs, and we're going to go through the setup process on another one of my Apple TVs right now. We're going to do it live. Uh, so welcome everyone and let's go ahead and jump in. Let me switch over so you can see the Apple TV and let's wake it up and now you should be able to see the Apple TV and this is you know, nothing special. It's just a regular fourth generation Apple TV but you'll be able to um, on your fourth generation Apple TV you'll be able to now go to the App Store which is that third icon uh, next to movies and TV shows, and you'll be able to uh, download the app yourself. So we're going to do that. I've got my Apple TV remote right here. I'm just going to go ahead and pan over to the uh, App Store app. I'm going to go ahead and press the button so it goes to the App Store. And I'm already on search. Normally it would be on Featured. Uh, I don't think we're Featured on this app yet, but hopefully we will be. But I'm going to go ahead and just swipe over past top charts, past uh, categories, past purchased, and go right to search. And uh, even though I could go right to my purchase list since I've already, it's free, although, even though I already downloaded it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to search for it. So we're going to go down to the alphabet, and we're just going to start typing. Now, normally I would do this from the remote app on my uh, iPhone, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right here in front of you using the on-screen keyboard, which I absolutely don't like, but we'll do it anyway. So we'll do L-I-G-H, come on H, H, and we're almost there. Is that it? No, I don't see it. Hang on. I was hoping it popped up, but it didn't. So we got to get, come on, one more letter. T and then R and we should see it. Oh, I did, hang on, I hate when I do a typo. I did the S instead of the R. So that's why I don't like the on-screen keyboard. I much prefer doing this on my phone. All right, but anyway, we'll go to, back to the R. There's the R. And there it is, Lightroom. All right, so I'll switch down to it, uh, choose it. And there it is. Um, it's a free download, and you can just go ahead and download it. And apps are relatively small, so it shouldn't take that long to download, even on my slower-than-usual connection. Uh, but there it is, downloading. And once it's done, uh, it'll show up with the rest of your apps in your Apple TV. But right here on the screen, you can go ahead and... Um, launch it. Hey, Scott Kelby, what's going on, man? I'm showing the new uh, Lightroom for Apple TV in case you haven't already guessed that. But let's go ahead and open it up. And now it's going to prompt me, of course, with the best part of this is that I can sign in. But instead of having to go through the long, arduous task of typing in my Adobe ID and typing in the, um, the password to my Adobe ID, the sign-in process actually happens on your computer in a web browser or on your phone in a web browser. Basically, when I click sign in, it's going to give me a code. I'm going to go to the website and just type that code in. So it works just like HBO Go and many of the TV apps as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, sign in. And it gave me that code. And let me jump over to my browser here so I can go ahead and type that in before anyone grabs my secret code. And it's a one-time code, so if you copy it after I type it in, it really won't matter. All right, I think I got it. And I did. All right, so it says my device is now authorized. And as soon as I go back, or just click OK, as you can see, it's now loading my, um, my galleries, my collections. So those are my collections that I've synced with Lightroom on a desktop or Lightroom on my iPhone or Lightroom on my iPad. And now I have access to uh, my photos here on Apple TV. 
So, um, great. What can I do? All right. So, there's not a lot you can do, but it's kind of cool. So, I'm going to actually uh, go down in the menu choices here, in the collection choices, I should say. And let's see. I think I, yep, I did make one called Apple TV Demo. So, that's a special collection I just made this morning. And it's only got a few photos in it. But we'll go ahead and click on the photo, it's, or the first photo, and that will show me the photos in that collection. I can go ahead and, of course, um, I'm just using a remote to navigate. I can go ahead and uh, tap again or click again, and it will take me to that photo. And as you might expect, you can swipe through the photos, so I can go to the next one. Maybe. Maybe not, or maybe it's a click. Hang on. Nope, it's not a click. That's a zoom. <laughs> it should swipe. There we go. Swiping takes you back and forth between them. And um, now the cool thing is uh, Apple TV has a lot, a lot of the apps have a secret menu or set of options at the top. And the way you get to that in, in, in Lightroom, Lightroom for Apple TV actually takes advantage of it too. If you swipe down, um, then that will give you your film strip. So if you wanted to jump to a specific feat or specific picture, in your film strip or in that collection you can do it right there and then click or um, press the remote and it will take you to that photo so the um yes i'm clicking the remote i have the remote right here so the obvious uh advantage to having lightroom as an app on my apple tv is i don't have to put pictures on my apple tv to show them if i just sync them as a regular collection uh, in Lightroom Mobile and just launch the app, that collection's there and I can go ahead and show it. Now, uh, let me get out of this for a minute. Let me bounce back. I'm going to get out of this collection. Go back one more time uh, with the remote. And um, I'm going to go up. And you'll notice the menus at the top. There's collections, all photos, and settings. So collections and all photos, pretty self-explanatory. Collections shows me the collections I've synced. All photos shows me all the photos, whether you know, no matter what collection they're in. But if I go over to settings, uh, there's not a lot of settings that you can deal with. But there is a setting that I saw something for slide duration. And let me go back now to the collections. And once I saw that, I was like, oh, well, you know, yeah, I guess there would be a slideshow feature that would kind of make sense for, um, for you know, to be able to show pictures on an Apple TV. And I was like, well, how does the slideshow work? So I stumbled around for a few seconds here until I found it. So here, let me uh, scroll back down. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay, we'll go back to the same collection we're in, or we were in, and I was like, well, how do I start a slideshow? So I'm pressing, I'm looking for a button, I'm holding down, uh, uh, are you able to do this with numerous Lightroom catalogs? The answer, Charles, is no. Lightroom for mobile has always only worked with one catalog, and I'm pretty much recommending for most people, and I have been for a couple years now, it's probably time to go to one catalog, at least for the bulk of your work. Uh, but anyway, I was looking around for the, where's the button, the, the little play button on the slideshow, or, the, or do I hold it down on a picture and I get a menu, or how does that work? And then I realized... There's a play button right there <laughs> on the remote. And sure enough, if you want to start a slideshow, just press play. Whatever collection you're in, and I'm not doing anything now, it's actually advancing the slides automatically with that uh, slow, fast, medium, or, or me fast, medium, slow speed. So you can uh, just simply start the slideshow with the play button. Um, and then, of course, pause it or hit the menu to get out of it. So you have the slideshows just built into the app, whatever collection you're in, that's the way you're able to do it. All right, so I can go ahead and hit the menu to get out of that. It takes me back to that collection. And then if I want to navigate to one of my other collections, I can. So for example, if I wanted to show my world travel photos, uh, I keep a collection of those. I can go there and go to that collection. And again, uh, just hit the play button and start playing that slideshow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the infamous play button, Rufus. The one that's right there on the remote. The one I was looking for on screen that doesn't exist. 
because it's in your hand. Just hit play when you want to see, see the slides. Uh, so this is going to be very cool. I like having to, um, hey, Brandon, what's going on, man? I'm uh, glad to see so many of my friends in here as well. Uh, but it's very cool to just now have this as a part of my regular TVs around the home. Uh, if I want to do a slideshow of anything I've done, any trip I've taken, uh, any photos I've just recently worked on, well, I'm already usually, I'm already putting them in collections and I'm usually syncing them to Lightroom Mobile because I can, I can sync an unlimited number of photos as a Creative Cloud member. Um, so why not just do it? Uh, any advantages over a smart TV? Well, a smart TV wouldn't see my Lightroom collection. So that's one advantage. A smart TV, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to export the images out and put them on the smart TV. Second advantage. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> there are advantages to the Apple TV. Uh, any TV, a digital, yeah, any TV is a digital frame. Exactly. Uh, so I tend to have Apple TVs on my, on every TV in the house. Uh, but I haven't been upgrading them to the new one, to the fourth generation. I've got three of them, I think. Uh, so now I might upgrade a couple more. And that way I'll have um, this ability on any, any TV in the, in the house. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You can see your collections. You can see all your photos, any changes you make. And by the way, in that settings, let's say I go add a photo right now um, to one of those collections. In the settings, there's a refresh collections. So if it doesn't sync and show it right then and there on your TV, just hit the refresh collections. And that, uh, that'll tell your Apple TV app to go out and look at the cloud to see if there are any new pictures. It'll pull them down and they'll be in the collection, ready to show and ready to play. <clears throat> Otherwise, it will check each time you launch the app, all your collections and all your photos and be able to show them. Will this eventually be on Roku or Amazon Fire? I have no idea <laughs> what the Lightroom team's future plans are for future apps. And even if I knew, I couldn't tell you. Uh, came in late, only on the newer Apple TV. Yours is three years old. Yeah, it's only on the newer Apple TV because only the newer Apple TV has apps. Uh, your third generation, second generation, first generation Apple TV doesn't have an app store. So there's no way to get this on uh, the other Apple TV. Now, you could still do it the old fashioned way. If you've got Lightroom for mobile on your iPhone or iPad, you could always airplay it to your older Apple TV, but then you'd just be airplaying just like you airplay anything else. Uh, but if you want to actually have the app, then you need a fourth generation Apple TV to have the app. And I would say if you're on one that's uh, how many years old did you say? Three plus years old, you're due for an upgrade. Uh, the new one is faster, has an app store, can download more content and save it because the, the drive in it is bigger. It's just better all the way around. Uh, that's why, like I said, when it first came out, I upgraded one immediately, then I upgraded a second one, then I upgraded a third one. I've got a couple more laying around that I'll probably upgrade now that I've got this app uh, as the ability to show my photos whenever I want uh, on Apple TV. Uh, can you set, uh, here, let me see what your comment is. I saw someone say, can you set the slideshow to music? You know that would make a lot of sense, uh, but not built into the app. Now, I don't see why there would be anything stopping you from playing music first. So in other words, set the Apple TV to play whatever songs you want from any of your apps and then start the slideshow. But right now, it doesn't have the ability to pick music and start playing the music built into the app. That would be cool because no one really likes to look at photos in silence. Um, play your jams there. <laughs> All right, well, Scott, uh, I don't have a license to play my jams over a stream like this, and therefore it would not um, work out well. Does it work on Android? Um, Lightroom for mobile works on Android, but not this particular app for Apple TV. Good question, though, Scott. Alexa, play. Yeah, I know that would be cool. But Siri, play is close enough. All right, any other questions? I'll hang out for a couple more minutes on questions on Lightroom for Apple TV. This is pretty much it. For those of you who just got here or came into the recording late, uh, I'm running the fourth generation Apple TV, uh, which I need to get out of the slideshow if it'll let me. 
Oh, no, it's stuck. Oh, I'm looking at the delay. You guys are just like stopped over here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, fourth generation Apple TV. I've got all my collections that I care about synced to my Apple TV. So I think I got like six or 8,000 photos synced up or synced to Lightroom, which are now available on any of my Apple TVs in the house uh, just by downloading the free Lightroom for Apple TV app for your fourth generation app or fourth, fourth generation Apple TV. Short and sweet. I know, Rufus. That's the way streams should be. Wink, wink. <laughs> All right. Um, does it work with Linux? Yes. Uh, there's a special version of Linux you need to download from the Linux Apple TV store. And then once you get that, it'll work just fine. All right. You have it up and running. Awesome. <laughs> All right. It's been fun hanging out with you here on Facebook. I got to get back to work, even though this is work, but I got to get back to other work. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being here. And thanks for taking a first look at the new Lightroom app for Apple TV. I hope you liked the way I presented it, the way I showed it. And again, it's available here if we get out of the app itself. Um, it's available on the app store for Apple TV. And unfortunately... There's no other way to go look at it. If you don't have a fourth generation Apple TV, there's no way to look at apps for Apple TV unless you're on the TV. So I had to keep refreshing the app store on my TV knowing that this was going to be launched today um, to see if it had actually been launched yet. And once, it's, once it was there, I was like, oh, cool, download and open and sign in and boom, there are all my pictures. So awesome. All right, guys, with that said, take care. Go download the Lightroom for Apple TV, or if you don't have a fourth-generation Apple TV, time to boost the economy and go buy some. Uh, they're relatively low price, um, and they're extremely low price for what you get. All right, so take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.